The U.S. Department of Education has started to accept applications from federal student loan borrowers looking to erase part of their debt. The beta version of the form went live Friday night. It comes nearly two months after President Biden announced his administration's intention to forgive up to $20,000 in student debt for millions of Americans. Eligible borrowers must make less than $125,000 a year as a single tax filer or under $250,000 as a couple to qualify for the one-time benefit. The Education Department is working to make the form as easy to fill out as possible so it can begin processing the claims soon. Uh, joining us now for more on this is John Healy. He is senior editor on the utility journalism team for the Los Angeles Times. John, uh, thank you for joining us. Um, beta testing, always a little bit hair raising. How are these first uh, few days going for the Department of Education? So they rolled it out Friday night and right away the application came down. Since then, it's been up pretty steadily every time I've checked. So it appears that they've gotten things under control. Now, remember that this is the department that when it announced the loan forgiveness, the site was completely swamped for several days and was really hard to get into studentaid.gov. So maybe once people actually catch on that it's out there, it will be swamped again. We'll just have to see. Hmm. Do we know, though, how long it'll take for the final version to be working up and running? All they've said is that they've got the uh, final version coming by the end of this month. So it could be a couple of weeks. It could be this week. We don't know for sure. Should people wait till the final version is available? Or, I mean, if you do it with the beta version, does it still count for the final version? They've said that if you file now, you will not have to file again, even if they change the form somewhat. So, yeah, there's no reason not to do All it right. now, particularly given that you, although you have until the end of 2023 to apply, there's no advantage to waiting. Hmm. Well, of course. I mean, people want to see that money in their pockets, but hopefully it all works out. Now, President Biden's debt cancellation program has fallen under some scrutiny with lawmakers within the Republican Party, with at least two federal lawsuits challenging the program. There has been also some iteration of the program that has also gotten uh, scrutiny. What's the likelihood of it being blocked uh, and any debt relief actually carried out or not carried out? Well, um, let me say up front, I'm not a lawyer and certainly not a uh, federal lawyer on these issues, but I would say Two, the two lawsuits bring different claims. One of, one of them was brought by uh, an individual who says that that person would be harmed by the debt relief uh, because he lives in a state where the forgiveness is taxable, Indiana. Now, under state taxes, under federal taxes, it's not, it's not taxable. But you don't have to take the debt forgiveness, even if you automatically uh, uh, qualify for it, the department said it would reach out and contact you and say, do you want it? So right. you won't, it won't be forced on you. So the, the issue of standing in that case seems a little bit more dubious than in the other case, which was brought by several states, mm -hmm. which have either student loan uh, processor services, servicing companies, or they themselves issue student loans and federal, federally backed student loans. And so they say they would be harmed by the forgiveness of the interest payments that they had been expecting. So they clearly have a stake. And so then it becomes a question, a legal question, of whether the department has the authority to do this. Now, the Justice Department has put out an opinion saying, we believe the HEROES Act, which was passed in 2003, gives the department the authority to do blanket forgiveness in emergency situations. And the pandemic was a federally declared emergency. Now, critics of, of that point of view say, no, 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 uh, that's really stretching the definition of what an emergency is and who the HEROES Act was intended mm. to apply to. John, uh, I don't want to stretch uh, the bounds of utility journalism, but I do have a utility-minded question here. Um, okay. If you make $125,000 a year, and that's the cutoff for this forgiveness, and your boss comes to you and says, congratulations, so-and-so, we're going to give you a promotion, should you say no? <laughs> You should say yes, uh, because the income qualification is in the past. It's okay. 2020 ah. or 2021, ah. right? So nothing you do now is going to affect that. 
I mean, okay. if you win the lottery, you will still qualify. <laughs> well, and, that's, and don't go good. spending uh, that money before it comes, because it seems like there's still a lot just kind of hanging in the balance there. John Healy. That's true. And it also, just if I could make one quick yeah, point, yeah, go ahead. that money's not coming to you. It's coming to your loan servicer. Yeah, right, so, exactly. Yes, it, it, it will help you, but it, you, you won't see it. <laughs> but, right. but, but keep the expenses as if you have to pay it, yeah. I guess, uh, is, is a smart uh, approach. Yeah. Yeah. John Healy, yeah. thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. All right.